Okay, this is a short tutorial on how to get Ventrilo up and running for the Black Sun server. First thing you want to do is start a user. Click that arrow. New. Use your in-game name. If you have several characters, try to use your, uh, your main character. You can hit play here to see how your name is going to sound. Then you want to add a server. Give the server a name. Then you want your server address. If you can't read this text, it's also listed on the site. And you'll want to ask for the password in game. Okay, so now we can connect. I'm going to go to another channel by select, just clicking the channel. Uh, but now I need to set up my sound. So I'm going to go over here to the right and hit Setup. And you get this main panel. These other tabs are useful for other things, but usually everything you need to do is in this voice. You want to make sure Enable Outgoing is, is uh, checked. You can unselect this. We're going to just uh, have the microphone come on d uh, due to a certain audio level, so it'll automatically turn on for you. Uh, then you want to uh, unselect the play clicks. No one really uses this option. Now your output and input device are very uh, important. You want to select direct sound. You want to select whatever sound card you have. Uh, then on input device you want to select your microphone. And we, uh, or I typically use the hardware mixer, so I'm going to choose the microphone. That gives me direct access to the line volume. I want to make sure it says capture here, microphone, and line volume. I'm going to put it up pretty high. Now the way you tell if the mic is picking you up as you hit monitor and then you talk in a normal voice and you can see these numbers. These num numbers represent the uh, the highest value of the audio. So when I'm not talking it's one or zero. And then when I'm talking it's numbers that look like they started about ten. That's important. That number is what's going to determine my sensitivity. So I turn monitor off. I'm going to make it 15 for now. I'm going to try and see if that works. The way that you can tell if it's working is the begins and ends in the monitor. So I'm going to hit monitor. Now I'm talking. And it's about three seconds until it hits the end. That's this number. I'm going to make it a second and a half. So now I'm talking. I get begin and end that's what you want the monitor to look like. You can also do a test and it'll it'll show you what it's going to sound like. Hello? And it will play the sound back to you. Don't worry about the codex here. That's set by the Ventrilo server. You have no control over that. This is just so you can test to see how other codecs will sound. But you don't need to touch it. Uh, you can also get access to the uh, playback and recording inputs on your uh, in Windows by selecting these buttons but you shouldn't have to do that typically you want to keep your outbound and inbound at zero because if we can't hear you and you amplify it we're gonna you're gonna amplify your voice as well as a lot of noise so you're gonna get a lot of background noise with that so now that we're all set with our sound I'm gonna hit OK when I go back into Ventrilo you notice that the green speaker icon means uh, that it can hear me. Hello? That's how you can see if you're talking. It's also how you can see if other people are talking. And that's it.